Hello and welcome to our email newsletter for this month. It's another sad video newsletter this month because we're saying goodbye to a loyal, amazing member of our team, which is Helen. Helen's been working in our schools team for the past five years and it's been a real joy. I've been Helen's line manager when I was schools team leader and it is really sad to see her go. She's leaving at the end of the academic year, so by the time you're watching this, she will have already left. But let's just um, journey back a bit, Helen. We, we wanted to have this interview with you, to say goodbye to you for one, but to also look back on the amazing things that, that we've done in the schools team, but also the things that you've kind of pioneered as well. If you could give us a highlight of your time here at BHCM, what would that be? Oh my goodness, I, I don't know if I could pick one. I, I think some of the things that, that we achieved together, particularly hot, um, hot off the press, mm. uh, working with um, um, Off the Fence to produce an Easter thing for schools. Mm. Uh, and we wrote it all to, together, we, we planned it, and, and that's a lot of fun every year when we do that. And I, I think that was a, a good thing that we achieved. Mm. Um, the Bible could, in a Flash was also... Could, could you just explain a little bit about what Hot Off the Press was? Yeah, so Hot Off the what Press... Is still? Hot Off the Press was, um, is <laughs> an opportunity for year five and six students in primary school to take on the role of journalist mm. for the day. <laughs> um, and we take them, we give them a, an assignment to go and investigate the resurrection. Um, and they go and visit the scene of the the event, the crime scene as it were, um, <laughs> with the tomb and the footprints and the grave clothes. They interview a Roman soldier and oh, yeah. uh, under scrutiny decide that whether he's telling the truth or not. <laughs> um, they undertake some fr forensic science tests um, and they listen to a soundscape, um, kind of like a security video mm. um, where the camera's fallen over and all you've got is the audio yeah. and they kind of piece together the bits of the, the puzzle and then they write a newspaper article um, explaining what they think has happened um, and it's it's always a great a mm. great thing to do that's amazing <laughs> and the other thing that you mentioned was Bible in a Flash Bible in a Flash so together we wrote this um, presentation telling the big story of the Bible mm. in 40 minutes or something. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, that was quite good, learning that, putting that all, to, all together. And we've kind of incorporated it now into a whole um, RE day um, about what is the Bible. And mm. um, we, I think we've enjoyed presenting that to schools in different places at different times. Mm. I think some of our lockdown videos were pretty good. Our lockdown videos were I fantastic. Mean, and it, uh, you're going to be seeing some of them on the screen right now because <laughs> we had a right laugh making some of these. You've got to show, show the German weather crop. Oh, of course. That's, <laughs> that's our that fake, highlight. fake accents. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to hear the accents. You're not going to put that in. We won't inflict that on you. But you can see those on our YouTube channel if you're interested to watch those. They're all on there. All of our lockdown videos are on there. We did have a lot of fun, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. In a time where... Yeah, in a time where there was not a lot of fun to be had. <laughs> we made our own fun. We did, we did. <laughs> Climbing trees. Climbing trees, yeah. Climbing trees and... Going down onto the muddy <laughs> river bank. <laughs> Gosh, we did a lot, didn't we? I mean, a lot has changed. Yeah. Because when I started, um, it was before COVID, so yeah. May 2019. 2019. Yeah. We did a, you know, a big assembly run where... We learned this. We did the summer assembly, mm. um, and things were very much had, as they had been for quite a long time. And then lockdown completely changed mm. how we did schools work. We were providing a lot of online resources for schools and spending a lot of time praying for schools and mm. getting in contact with them, taking them cakes and things like that. Um, and then obviously, as as schools opened up again after the pandemic, just just doing doing things differently and reevaluating what was priorities and. How we could best serve schools so quite a lot of changes in in five years really There's been a lot of changes a lot of changes and you obviously have a real heart for prayer and a heart for um for the schools and so one of the things that you started doing was um well taking kind of lead and ownership of what we called the triangle prayer again in partnership with off the fence but you kind of took that leading from from our end um, to make that happen and prayer emails and that sort of thing. Can you tell us a bit about that? What was your kind of heart behind that? Why did you 
want to go in that direction? Well, I think it became really apparent during lockdown that there wasn't a lot that we could physically do for schools. Yeah. Um, and yet we knew that schools were serving their communities as best they could in really difficult circumstances and what we could do was pray. Mm. Um, and so we got in touch with all the primary schools and some of the secondary schools in the city and said, is there anything we can pray for? Mm. Would you like cake? <laughs> um, and oh yeah, you, you also made the cakes. How <laughs> could I forget the cakes? <laughs> Helen made cakes every week for schools and it was incredible it was and it was it was really a door opener actually Mm -hmm. I mean there was yeah we we had a chance to to talk to teachers and you know find out key members of of staff as well and pray with people and Mm -hmm. um and just cheer them up actually (laughs) you know they would be like they're for us what do you mean cake um and yeah just just really pray for them um, in in their difficulties. It's part of a Praying for Schools um, initiative. It's kind of part of Christians in Education and just thinking about how can we Mm. encourage those who work in schools, local churches who care about their local schools to to come together and and pray and and then see what God does out of that really. How does that Mm. motivate us to serve the schools? How does it increase our prayer? How does it enable churches to be more passionate about engaging with the 95% of children who are not in church. Mm. And and that's something that we're still is very much on our heart to do here at the City Mission. So we, we are continuing to meet and uh, arrange this with Off the Fence of how we can bless and pray for our local schools in local areas. That is something that is definitely ongoing which is fantastic. Also in your time here, you were instrumental in setting up an open the book group at Cardinal Newman School to uh, with a group of year eight students, or they became year nines, didn't they? We trained them when they were in year eight, and in year nine, they would then travel to local primary schools. Tell us a little bit about that, because that's really, really exciting, and something that you kind of pioneered, really. Well, so we were both Open the Book trainers. We'd been involved with with Open the Book since Kerry's time. Yeah. And um, uh, Open the Book is a fantastic initiative run by the Bible Society that takes Bible stories very simply into primary schools. Mm. And normally it's a, it's a church team or a group of churches that get together um, and use the, the resources to present a Bible story to a local primary school. So we've been involved in that. Um, but actually it was suggested that maybe using secondary school children was mm. just this new opportunity. Um, and so because we had such a good relationship with Jane Noble, the um, chaplain at Newman, uh, we suggested training up a group of um, year nines to go into local primary schools and do these open the book assemblies. Um, and so we've just trained the third lot um, <laughs> for, for next year. A group of 12 of them, they'll go into three or four different primary schools once a half term, so six times a year, and they're going to be telling parables that Jesus Mm. told um, to the primary school children in our local schools. Um, And it's it's great on so many levels. It's it's telling, it's introducing children and young people. Yeah, I was going to say that. The young people that are doing it aren't necessarily Christians, they no, don't know Jesus, no, uh, but they but have a heart happy to for, do something. For, for telling Bible stories. That's amazing. There's a lot of drama involved, so it's very fun, very interactive um, assemblies. It, it builds really good relationships between Cardinal Newman and their feeder primary schools. Yeah. Um, so, the, so the secondary schools love it. <laughs> the, the primary schools love it because they love seeing their ex-pupils, some mm, of them, coming yeah. back as kind of you know, um, young adults, young people um, and performing assemblies and they're always really, really encouraging <laughs> of the young people that come in and they say to their children, maybe you can do this when you go to Newman oh, and, um, so... and the schools have been so welcoming um, and um, yeah, it has been a really lovely thing to, to see develop over the years and I'm, I'm really glad that that's, that's going to continue for, for at least another year, so that's good. Yeah, that's amazing. And Helen has been a blessing, not just to the school's team uh, in her time here. It, you have been a blessing to the wider team as well, and you have an impact in the way that um, Helen's just like a biblical whiz. She's good. 
<laughs> she knows um, a lot and you share your wisdom so humbly with our team and um, have been an encouragement uh, and again not just to, to the wider staff but to me also and um, a real encourager and it's just been a real joy to have you uh, on our team and so we just wanted to make this video just to firstly celebrate you but to also inform um, our our guys who received this newsletter uh, just what you've been up to so it's just been uh, fantastic um, there are a couple of things that you could be praying for for us uh, at the city mission obviously Helen leaving does leave a hole in our team and um, one that is incredibly difficult to fill um, so please be praying that um, for the future of the school's team uh, for what we uh, what this new season looks like uh, as we as we navigate um, September uh, September onwards uh, when the new academic year starts please pray for us uh, we certainly need your prayers and also we can be praying for Helen and her future plans what God has in store for her next it's very exciting I'm excited to see what God's going to do uh, in your life and in this next season yeah very thank you exciting. hopefully still connected to the but you're not moving out of Brighton. I'm not leaving Brighton. So no. yes, that you'll certainly be one of our, our still, supporters. Still working with children and young people. And exactly. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on our next one.